freaking TV won't work. The footy's meant to be back on. Oh, what's going on, Cobb? Al Gore Rhythm. How you going? Good to see you. You telling me you're here today to see what a reseller does all day long? Man, you mustn't have much of a life. You really want to watch this crap. It's about as painful as giving a parrot a medical. Anyway, if that's what you want to do, here we go. Let's get into it. So I'm coming in. I'm going to pack some parcels. Then we're going to go out and do a bit of a uh, cruise, hit up a couple of thrift stores, and then come home and do some listing. So this is the new office. Now, I haven't set it up properly. I've kicked the missus out. I've fucked her off. This was her office. Now I've got two offices. She's got another one over here. Um, she, she gave it up. It's all right. I didn't kick her out. But it's going to give me a bit more freedom in here because my storage shed, that's where I was doing all my packing and stuff. It's getting a bit full out there, so now I've got this room, um, got my little fucking table set up there, you beauty, got me coffee ready to go, bit of packing, got some stuff there that I've sold, um, got a few orders to get through, so basically I'll list in here as well, I'm a flat lay, I love my flat lay, which will be here, I'll bring my lights in, that's just a lamp, and uh, yeah, my, all my storage will be out there, the other uh, room that you often see me in, that'll still have a bit of storage, but that's that's the toy room. So I'm going to print some labels off, pack some shit, then we're going to fuck off and go to some thrift stores. So I do all my international labels on this bad boy, because they are bigger. And the Dymo, that's for my domestic labels. So um, it's handy to have both. This thing I swear by, if you're printing volume, then man, this is the best thing I ever bought for my business. If you haven't got one of them yet. Uh, this thing's decided, oh, there it goes, it just shat one out. So uh, we're going to try and poop out a few of these ones. Ozpost business is down. Of course they are. Fucking pricks. <laughs> so this is my morning every morning. It's very new in here because uh, this is the first time I'm doing it in here, in the new office. But I get up... As early as I can, um, usually 5.36 and start picking orders, getting me labels ready, ready to go, then start packing. Every single day I have one day handling on my store. For me, that's important. I think it helps my sales, um, kind of boost me up those charts. But uh, it's just easy for me. I can get all that sorted. If I'm ready to go by the time Eli's ready for daycare, if I drop him off or my wife drops him off on the way to work, then I can just go straight to the post office, go thrift and go do pickups or whatever I've got to do. So um, this is what works for me. One day handling, I post every single day. So I'm going to pack some of this stuff. I'll show you a couple of me good ones. I'll show you a couple of me good sales. Hang on. Sold this bad boy. This came in that lot a couple of weeks ago in my video of the garage sales. Happy to announce I've pretty well broken even on that lot already. And most of the high-end stuff I still have. This has been the best sale so far. I've got 60 bucks out of this. So, uh... We'll start off with this one. So this St Kilda jacket here. What an absolute beauty. 90s, vivid. Um, St Kilda Saints jacket. Now, I've picked that up on eBay for 90 bucks last week. Photos are pretty poor. And I just thought, hang on, we can make a couple of dollars out of that. So picked that up, sold that in two days for 200 plus posts. So take out all your fees and all the bullshit. Uh, what do we got? Maybe 70, 80 bucks profit out of that. I'm sitting at home on my phone now. Uh, I love eBay arbitrage. I love buying shit off eBay to resell. Might talk a little bit, little bit about that later because I've got a couple of parcels coming. I'll show you some more shit that I've picked up. I do this daily. I buy shit off eBay every single day. I buy shit off Depop nearly every day. A lot of the time I buy shit off Depop to resell. It's a massive part of my game. I love it. It's fun. Yeah, you're paying more for items. But if you have a niche that you're strong in, you can find stuff online every day. Spend half an hour, seriously, half an hour poaching auctions, looking at newly listed items, have those saved searches, like over my three accounts, I've got 70, I want 100 by the end of the month kind of thing, and I'm looking at new stuff every day. I think it's very important uh, if you have niches because um, I'm getting a lot of good shit from it, a lot of good shit. It's a big part of my business. So let's have a look at some more sold shit. Um, have a look at this. I paid 50 cents for this book. And it sold for 80 bucks. 
$80. Fitzroy stuff is very collectible. They're no longer in the AFL. They merged with the Brisbane Bears. They're now the Brisbane Lions. That was a Victorian team. Um, any Fitzroy stuff you can get is good. But these little books here, from this is from the 80s, so the old VFL logo. Uh, if you spot them, I'm no, I'm no bookseller, but I am a footy fiend, and that's fucking, that's a ripping sale. If you can see that shit, get 80 bucks for this little pissy thing. Fucking new beauty. I'm not going to complain with that. Uh, we've got the bag of stuff here. Look, we've flogged off a few video games. Not too much this week. A um, lot of basic ones. That is only a $10 game. I've n I'm nearly out of the $10 games. Nearly out of them, which is good. I don't sell anything under 15 bucks anymore. Anything goes into bundles. That's a bowl, though. I've got 60 bucks for that. Uh, Lord of the Rings PC. And... Oh, another one of the better ones, $30 for that. I got that out of the CD section for 50 cents a few weeks ago. Uh, expansion pack, Alien vs. Pre Alien versus Predator. What else we got in here? We got footy boots, you know. Oh, this bad boy too, actually. This sold. You remember this from the uh, Maribyrnong trip. So it was a 1999 staff t-shirt from KFC. 1999, when the movie was released, it was only issued to staff and... Uh, we got 150 bucks for that. So that is going to America, that one. 150 bucks on that. That's why I price high with offers. Pricing high with offers does me justice. It's a big part of my game. Anyway, what else we got? We got lots of jeans this weekend. Lots of jeans. Um, so many Levi's going out. Uh, second hand and new. We got another new pair there. Another new pair here. The five four ones. Um, what are these? We got R M Williams. We got T shirts. We got all sorts of shit. This one's pretty cool. This is a nice, uh, nice jacket here. The Ralph Lauren. Uh, I got that off another reseller on Instagram recently. So shout out to him. Thank you very much. Um, footy boots. Lots of footy. Four pairs of footy boots this weekend. So yeah, a lot, lot going on. So um, I'm gonna get into it. Got all my stuff ready to go. These are my uh, satchels that I use, the big and the small. And the... Down here at the moment, I've just got some of the uh, boxes. Now, I know it is so much easier. Uh, well, it's easier and cheaper. You can go to Bunnings. You can buy You can get your boxes for free. That's a good way to get them. You can advertise. You can get them on Facebook. I purchase them and build them myself. The reason being because I push a lot of volume. I need to know what sizes i got. It's just so much easier. I can just quickly... You fold them out, bang them together, you know. So I've got all the different sizes under there. My bubble mailers for uh, games and shit, you know. It's all here ready to go. Everything's within arm's reach. I don't have to do any moving around. My labels here. Slip me little card in the uh, thing. So I've got these... Uh, actually, here's another one here. My business cards. Now, I highly recommend if you don't have business cards, seriously, get yourself a business card. A few reasons. What I put on it, a big thank you for supporting my small business. I think that is absolutely vital to put on there. The reason being, everyone loves supporting small businesses. Sometimes when you're buying on eBay, if shit goes wrong in the post or something wrong with your item, people wanna give you the negative or they crack the shits, you know, uh, they're just gonna go bang. And if you do good photos and you look pretty professional, they go, hey, he's a big company, fuck him, we'll uh, give him some negative feedback. If you remind them that you're a small business, sometimes they'll give you the benefit of the doubt or they'll want to support you more. They'll want to come back. If they had a, they were very happy with their experience, they'll come back. Then on the back, I just have a little spiel here that if you were happy, please leave positive feedback. The reason being, how many don't? Most of them. And you want that feedback. You want to have good feedback, don't you? And a lot of them forget. A lot of them don't. I've done it before. I bought shit and forgot to leave feedback. So I think it's very important that you have the feedback on there or tell them to leave the feedback, but if there was an issue, don't leave the fucking negative. Come and say hello, come and have a chat, we'll sort it out, all right? So um, <laughs> don't say like that, obviously, but just uh, look, if you want to screenshot that, you can copy mine, I don't give a fuck. It's all in uh, fangle dangle fancy pants. Oh. oh, you beauty, I got a parcel. Must be that limited edition VB that I've been waiting for. It's taken two weeks to get here, too. <sighs> he buddy drank. He drank it all. He drank it all on me. What the? F he... It's all right. It's all right. He's got a car day. Look, we'll let him off. Small business. Small business. Small business. We'll let
So we're coming here to Vinnie's. There's only a couple of op shops in this little town. But uh, Vinnie's wasn't great. Then we swung over to the Salvos. Um, it was a little bit fancy. Fancy Salvos here. But uh, it wasn't great either. So we ended up um, going to some second-hand stores. We found this little toy wheel pickup stick. So that was pretty cool. But this uh, second-hand store here... Um, Look, very pricey, not great for a reseller, but there was some really, really cool shit in here. Look at that. Uh, get it cheap on eBay. And then all these cool cards too. Just a really interesting little trip. I've spoken about Seekham a lot. Uh, 90s tag there. So we've got this Melbourne Demons 90s Guernsey. Um, unfortunately, it's a polyester. It's not the woolen, but uh, heat press number is peeling. But what I'm going to do with this, it's going straight on Facebook in groups. So I'll actually try and sort out a buyer for that. I'll skip eBay and I'll probably get about $50 for it. So... Uh, not too bad. Then this one here, I've got this just this T-shirt from 2001, the Black Crows, um, if you can see that. So not a bad T there on the back. you got the hit there as well up on the top patch there. So it's not huge dollars, but it's a pretty cool shirt. Uh, stick the camera up there to show this off now. If you don't do a lot in the T-shirt world, but, uh, you know, you always look through it, you, you're looking for whatever some grails or whatnot something i want you to look out for is this tag so giant made in giant uh, made by giant made in the usa um this tag is pretty highly sought after especially if you've got certain things on it so um this one here i'm very happy to get we've got that little loyal member metallica club on the front there but this back hit is sick look at that so whoa going into the new millennium with Metallica. So the year 2000 on here, there is a uh, copyright year 2000 under license to Giant. If you ever find a t-shirt with a cool print or a band shirt or whatnot, and it says under license to Giant and their tag is something other than Giant, it's probably a reproduction or a fake. So um, just be wary of that. But this is one tag to seriously look out for if you see it. You're not going to come across it very often. They don't last long in thrift stores, that's for sure. But if you do see it, I'm telling you, look into it. Probably just grab it. In a thrift store, you're not going to pay too much. I, I have paid up for this, um, and I was happy to. I want to keep it. I love Metallica. Uh, if it's too big, I'll sell it maybe, or we might even do a bit of a raffle because I've actually got some Metallica stuff coming in next week. Um, we may do a winner's choice raffle on Instagram. We'll see what happens, but... Uh, I am very, very happy with this. It's a $100 shirt, easy, maybe more. So uh, maybe 120 on that, but um, I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. So so that is all I did snag on the thrift, but we're going home. I'm going to do a bit of listing. According to Oz Post, I've got a couple of parcels there waiting for me too. So we'll have a quick look into them too. And uh, that'll be my day done. Then I'll have to go pick up Eli. So um, let's go home and have a look. So this box here has come from overseas. Basically, what I've purchased is a box of toys. WWF figures from the early 90s. There was a line of Hasbro figures that are very, very collectible now. People love them. So... Um, Let's quickly look in this, and you're going to know a few of these. I'll show you a few off the bat. Um, Hulk. So this is what they are. Hasbro figures. They're from like 1990 to uh, 94. Little plastic figurines here. He's from 91, this Hulk. But they are so collectible. They are cool as shit. I reckon they, were, they are absolutely amazing. But uh, Macho Man, we got Andre the Giant. There are certain ones of him that goes. I've seen him go for like 100 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure if it's this one. I have to check it out. Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, the last three I've shown you have passed away, but uh, he goes for about 60, so happy with him. We've got Jake the Snake. If he had his snake, he'd be worth heaps more, but we've got two of him there, about 20 bucks each. Uh, British Bulldog. We've got one, two of the Bushwhackers, so they'll get sold together. I think I'll only get about 20 or 30. 
the Mountie, we have Legion of Doom, Hawk and Animal. I think one of those has passed away too. Um, he was in the fucking the the Rockers with Shawn Michaels. I uh, can't remember his name. Ultimate Warrior, he's a bit dinged up, this one. Missing some fingers, so that's a bit disappointing, but still cool. We all love the Ultimate Warrior. Bret Hart, certain ones of this goes for good money too, so really, really happy to get Bret Hart. Uh, I probably will keep Bret. I might just price him high, and if he sells, yeah, sweet, but I'd rather keep him. Big Boss Man, he's dead. Um, very sad, a lot of these guys that we've grown up with have passed away. Very sad. Uh, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Roddy Piper, another one that's uh, no longer with us. We've got the Nasty Boys, and fuck, I can't remember his name. Drop it in the comments what his name is. I know it. Uh, <laughs> I've had a blank. And Sergeant Slaughter. If you do see these little Hasbro wrestling figures, seriously, as I said, like I've seen this. I don't know if it's this particular one. There's a certain one I've seen sell for over 100. I'm uh, going to list some shirts, or we've got couple of tubs of shoes and i've got to go back through those comic books i haven't uh, really listed much in the way of the comics from a couple of weeks ago so i'm gonna get listing on them bit of a different video today but i've been home a lot lately but i've been sourcing online still um just not using my time at thrift stores so i've got a lot to do this week um i'm gonna be listing hard but this is what i got up to today so i hope you enjoyed it uh something a little bit different and if you like it, let me know. I'll do more of these. But uh, I'll be back next week, and I'll see you then. Hooray!